Hi, I'm Dave. This is the video that I put together on making the bowling lane in my backyard. Um, it's pretty boring, honestly. It's long and uh, fairly uninteresting. I don't know why you'd want to sit through it, is the truth. Uh, if you're just looking for some action shots of the lane in action, jump to the end of the video. I'm going to include some there. If you want to see the uh, process of me building this thing, which took about uh, the better part of two weeks, um, I took a couple of I took one week off of work. Uh, but the thing is, it didn't really buy me that much more time because the way the sun works in my yard, I did most of the work in the mornings until the sun got up. Then would have to come back in the later afternoon when I was back in the shade again. And um, honestly, the middle of the day is uh, pretty much the work day. So I probably didn't need to take any time off work to do it, but it took a couple of weeks. It was a lot more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I would crank this thing out. It took me a bit to do it. Some interesting problem solving along the way. I wish I had some plans that I can share with you, um, but I, and usually I draw up plans for my projects, but this was one that I really did kind of wing it. Um, sketched out some estimates of how things would go, but but really I knew I'd make it up as I went. And I had a pretty clear vision in my head of how it was going to go too. So it wasn't completely improv. At any rate, um, maybe the only thing more boring than the video of me building the bowling lane is this introduction video of me building the bowling lane. So I'll wrap it up now and let you get to it. Hope you uh, enjoy it. Not sure how you could, but the footage at the end of us actually using the lane is kind of cool. So be sure to check that out at least. And thanks for your interest. Okay, so welcome to my backyard, and this is where I intend to put my bowling lane. I should give you a quick look around. See if you can envision this with me. Here between the side of the house and my fence, I've got this nice little area. That is gonna be where we bowl from, mostly because it gets lots of shade. You don't see it right now, but come early afternoon, come one o'clock or so, this will all be in the shade. And here in Arizona, being in the shade is a uh, big darn deal. So if you can imagine this with me, the lane will start where I've got these red spray paints on the ground actually. This will be the back, this is the approach area. So that would be the foul line right there. That'd be the foul line. And then built up all around the lane here will be patio. Uh, gonna build it up just with wood. Be able to put some benches in here for sitting, a little bar in the back, a place to hang a scoreboard. Maybe even put a canopy over this at some point to provide even more shade for this time of day. You can see I have hung a string. That is gonna be my guide for uh, placing the four by four base on this that I will build everything on. I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> so changes may occur as we go, but you can see here where this red pin marks where the uh, head pin will be. That's 30 feet down lane. That's where the head pin will be. That's the uh, end of the pins. The second mark in that back pit, uh, the back mark is the uh, end of the pit. So the pit will be between those last two marks. We will work on getting four by fours down along that string. I've got it pretty level, I believe, best I can tell. Um, again, this is not the sort of thing I usually do. This is more of a construction project and I'm more of a woodworker. So we'll see how it goes. I think some common sense and the power tools that I have, we should be able to work this thing out. So that's where we start. We need to get some four by fours down there, start building the base for this thing. All right, so let me show you where I am with this monstrosity here as I'm about to take a break uh, to get out of this Arizona sun for a little while and then I'll come back this afternoon. This will all be in the shade again early afternoon. But for now, uh, let's see. If we stand on here, you see this is the lane. These are, that'll be the outer edges of the lane. There'll be gutters built off either side in a ball return and eventually a pin set or everything else. And as we come up this way, da, 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 we come up 
This is the base, by the way. So there'd be a frame of four by fours on top of this with the uh, plywood on top of that. Oh, my phone is overheating. Like I said, the sun's hot. So this video may turn really lousy. Anyway, not a whole lot going on here. The next step is actually to run a PVC pipe down the length of the lane that's going to contain the rope that'll be used for the pin setter. And then we'll put the frame on top of that. So uh, this is where we're at. I'm pooped. I'm sorry. Not very talkative right now. The sun has taken it out of me. I'm going to go jump in the pool. Oh, so the patio, by the way, I doubt you can see it in the video. The patio part of it over here to the left will sit about an eighth inch higher than the lane part. Um, it was just the easiest solution, or at least the solution I chose to get around the bricks. Uh, so there will be a little step down that happens on off of this beam here. And I'll probably put a two by four into the ground, add it to the base to support the lower part here. I'll separate, I don't want, I just don't want to slope. I, I don't mind just a little tiny step down, but I don't want to slope because uh, that slope I'm afraid would carry over into the approach area. And uh, that would just bother me. I put too much work into getting this all straight and level to allow that to happen. Okay, so that's where we are. Um, get this PVC pipe run and then we'll start building a frame. Not a whole lot has happened this afternoon because uh, once this area at the side of the house got completely in the shadow, uh, instead of coming out and working on it, I was taking a great big nap this afternoon, <laughs> a much needed nap. Uh, so all I've actually gotten done is uh, my PVC pipe here has been run with the rope threaded through. Here's a quick look at this morning's work. Uh, not a whole lot of it, but did some framing, got it screwed down to the base. And uh, that's pretty much the lane. I got the lane done. I don't have the approach done yet. Um, that's next, obviously, with the patio. But the lane is in, and it's nice and level and straight and true. And I'm very, very happy about how it's turned out so far. Fingers crossed. I'm going to go ahead and stop for the uh, morning here as the sun's coming out. And I don't want to get zapped like I did yesterday. So uh, back at it this afternoon. All right. Haven't done an update here in a bit. Uh, Seems like I've not gotten much done, but there's actually been a lot of work here. The frame is complete. I went back and added an extra cross rib all over the place on this, just for my own peace of mind to know it's never going to feel weak when you step on it. And also hoping that it will help the boards keep their shape uh, a little bit longer in this Arizona sun. So I went back and added all these cross boards, quite a bit of work. Patio is all framed out here. Not amazing. In fact, if you know a lot about framing and how to do this sort of thing, you're going to look at this and go, oh my God, what has he done? <laughs> but remember, I claim to have no knowledge into how to do these things. I am making it up as I go as far as the construction stuff goes. But anyway, the finally got the framing all done. Uh, what will end up being the gutters, I've just got kind of the parts for putting the gutters together all just loosely spaced here. Just kind of planning them out right now so everything is just laying around and... Um, but uh, that's what's next, actually, is to get these gutters actually uh, put in. I've got them made uh, as far as the actual gutter pieces go. You can see it's not a lot going on to them. Just strips of plywood with a little raised edge, and they'll get attached to the side on these posts. These posts will get attached to the side of the lane. The gutters will get attached to the top of those, and they'll hold it everything uh, right where it needs to be. So anyway, that's what's next. And uh, should be fun. So we'll get at that. I'm ready to play. I want this project done. I want a bowl. Okay, been a busy day today. I'm running out of daylight, wrapping up for the day. But uh, got the lane all put in today. And it's all cut and screwed into place and nice and level and really surprisingly level, actually. I was willing to have a little tolerance. Um, but boy, everywhere I drop my level, that bubble is right in the center. So very excited about that. Also today, I finished this upper deck area, which I'm now calling the Grand Stand, uh, where the spectators will congregate. Uh, that is all screwed in and done, ready, kaput. And it uh, doesn't sound like much when you just list it that way, but it's been a very busy day today. Tomorrow, we will, as I'm doing some terrible camera work here, Tomorrow we will uh, get the approach area put in, do the approach area. And then I got to start working on the lower decking, the lower deck. And I haven't even bought the wood for that yet. 
Um, not sure. I think that's going to be some, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Some sort of planks, obviously. Redwood, most likely. We'll see. So anyway, those are the next items up to work on. After that, we start to work on the uh, either the ball return or the pin set mechanism. And I need to put a little more thought into which one makes more sense to do first. I'm going to guess the ball return. I need to actually build the pit. I guess that's what's really next would be building the pit and then the ball return off of the pit. And then I'll build the pin set unit around to fit around all of that. So anyway... That's what we still have to go, man. It's been a lot of work and there's still a lot to do. I haven't even begun to wrap my brain around painting and polyurethaning and whatever else we're gonna do with this. All right, all caught up. See you tomorrow. All right, so I've been after it today and I've gotten the lower deck very, very nearly done. Uh, the reason it's only nearly done, not completely done, is because I'm building these step down ramps these ramps right here for the step down to help keep people from tripping and i want to do them here too for the step down into the uh lane area however i came up about six feet short on lumber don't needed one more short board um so next time i'm out i'll grab another board and i left my bandsaw and table saw set up for cutting those so it'd be no big deal to just run them through little miter in the corner and uh that'll be that so next we spin this way is going to be working on the pit working on the pit and the ball returns the next thing to figure out the balls that i ordered for this uh were supposed to be delivered today are supposed to be delivered today they're not here yet but i'm dying to get them and just throw a couple down there and see how it rolls i think it's going to be a pretty exciting moment for me to see the balls zip down there i want to hear the dun -dun 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 as it hits the three seams there and see how bad uh how bad it um shows that there are seams there the level says it should be pretty good but we'll find out so anyway that's where we're at as of today okay this is where i have to knock off for tonight I have to stop a little early tonight because i have something to do um but a little progress made today we got the ball return started um it's not secured in place yet and a lot of braces still to be put in between each end uh, but the ball place uh, the ball return is in place that board standing up is just a uh, so if I can point to it that board right there is just a little placeholder for where the hood will end up being uh, this will be the pit and it of course slants down towards the ball return as well and I have tested it let a couple of balls run on it works well and uh, that's really what today was all about was getting to this point with the ball return we'll get that finished up for sure tomorrow start working on the uh, hood and how the pin setter is going to work and um, oh I also put the I got another board and put the little step down ramp in for the lower section for the approach section and uh, making some nice progress so that's where we are here after today all right just a quick break in the action here this morning to show you that the uh, ball return is completely installed it is done ready to be used and we're going to do an experiment throwing a ball up there this will be the first time we've run it, and uh, if it goes well, the ball should stop and come back at me, as long as I don't throw it too hard, that it goes off the end. Hopefully, I won't throw it too hard. Oh, that's a pretty good throw, I think. That's going to make it to the final board, which is nice. Oh, that's a perfect throw. Okay, now it should stop and come back at me. Let's see. Oh, looking good. Here it comes. I do believe the ball return is working. Nice. Ooh, a little jump there. We'll want to look into that. Let's see here, and right down in here to the ball storage area. Bam, ready for the next roll. There you go, ball return in and working. Woohoo! Just a quick video this morning to show you uh, where I left everything last night and to explain the problem that I'm having. So uh, this is the structure at the end of the lane where the pin setter will sit. And... Uh, I got a design flaw. I thought that hanging that carpet back there with uh, about a one inch gap, three quarter to one inch gap behind it would be enough to deaden the ball uh, to make it just fall into the pit. I was wrong. I'll throw one here. You'll see the ball bounces back onto the lane. Not a good result. So uh, today is going to be about 
resolving that. I think I'm gonna build that box where the carpet hangs instead of that three quarter inch gap, it's gonna go back quite a bit and then the, uh, there'll be carpet back there or something to catch it and then roll it back down into the pit. <sighs> Not certain to be honest with you. Figuring it out as we go, but hey, problem solving is the fun part of this, right? So uh, that's what I'm doing. Gonna get back after it. Update once I get it working slash if I get it working. Oh, you can see what I ended up doing. First of all, I, if you look back behind here, I built this out about another four and a half inches and set my rug out there. I'll build a case around that because it's ugly, but is what it is for right now. On the inside, you can see the rug kind of like tilts. It's designed so that it'll shoot the ball downward a little bit. And then on this side, I built this ramp. I attacked this on, which I don't love, but I had to do it because things were still jumping. You can actually see the marks on the ramp from me experimenting. So the ball shoots down, catches this ramp, kicks it back in. Every now and then a ball's gonna get hung up here. Don't love that. Um, and every now and then a ball's gonna sit up here, which I may put a ramp up there later or something, we'll see. But uh, overall it's working. I'll run down and throw you a couple of balls so you can see. By the way, look at the amazing job my wife, my lovely missus painted the deck yesterday afternoon. She did a great job and I love this color. All right, so we're gonna to try to throw a ball here while holding the camera. Not sure if I can do this, but we'll do my best. Hopefully you'll be able to see what happens here. Yeah, okay, get the idea. Do one more here. There we go. Oh, there's a gutter. That's a gutter ball, but it's working. So again, every now and then one wants to pop back out onto the lane, but mostly not. So. We're calling that good. Making a quick change to what I've done that I thought you might find interesting. You know, I've shown you how I uh, bent these PVC pipes with a heat gun to get a soft curve in them, hoping to not need pulleys. Uh, I've now gotten to a point where I think I need pulleys. So I came up with what I think is a pretty clever solution to do pulleys. I'm switching uh, the pipe underneath and at the ends to a three inch pipe. And I bought pulleys like this just at Home Depot, they sell these. It's a pretty straightforward pulley, but it's got this awesome hook on the top. So what I've done is I take a three inch pipe and I cut a slot in the back, put the pulley in there, through the slot, bolt it in place, and now I can run my cord around the uh, bend there in a pulley. Should make this a whole lot easier to use. So just wanted to show you that cool little thing. So the pulleys are installed. All four turns are now run by pulleys. We got one down in the ground here, comes up, pulley there, pulley there, and uh, back at the start where it bends back up to where the crank will be, pulley there. So pulleys are installed. I'm gonna put a brace on this pipe here so it doesn't wiggle so much. At that point, we're ready to uh, get the pins installed and then start painting. Last night, got the painting done for the gutters in the box and the ball return. Love the colors that we chose. I think they just look great. This morning I'm in the process of taping uh, to get ready to paint in the arrows, paint in the foul line. A little later we'll paint in a logo down there. And uh, that's where we're at. We are getting very close to bowling here. Very, very close. I'm excited. So I completely forgot to take a little film footage before I started taping up the lane here, but I got the lane painted. The lane in the approach area painted. That's the color. And uh, four coats of outdoor paint. The original plan was to polyurethane it as well, but honestly, this outdoor paint stuff is really tough and sticks really well. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be enough with just the four coats of that. So anyway, did that yesterday, taping it off now, gonna get these gutters and whatnot painted, and uh, we'll show it to you after that. As I've been putting this video together, I realized uh, in the process of making this, I never did a video of the pin setting mechanism, which I'm sure is probably the one thing that it's gonna generate the most interest, so that's crazy. So I'm coming back now after the fact to try to create a video I can insert to show it to you the best I can. Boy, I wish I'd have done this while it was taken apart. As you've probably figured out already what we've got. Now look underneath here, see if we can see it from underneath. It's a series of tubes, just three inch PVC tubes uh, placed up into this, into a um, three quarter inch sheet of plywood and then those tubes go up the length of the pin. They go up pretty high. 
Um, so they'll come up outside the box, and the, and the entire pin setting mechanism is a box. It just sits on that shelf there. That, those tubes will come all the way up to about here where there's uh, matching holes cut into them. So those tubes sit between two sets of matching holes, um, and that box is good and secure. Those tubes aren't going anywhere. On top of that upper piece of plywood is this thin piece of plywood that has just little holes over the center of those tubes uh, to make sure that the rope goes in to the center of that tube. Um, so when, when it pulls the pin up, if the pin's wagging and screaming, the, the rope is at least coming from the center and it's going to pull it up into that tube and that'll stop it from shaking. And then it drops it straight back down again from the center of the tube. I'm sorry I never got a picture of that box. It's really nothing pretty to look at. It looks like one of the boxes they would use for shooting fireworks with a bunch of cannons in it. Um, but nifty, I think, in the way that I built it to sit just on the shelf here. It and as well as everything about the uh, bowling lane can be taken apart so parts can be repaired or replaced. And that was very, very intentional, knowing that things will wear out and over time they'll warp or whatnot. I'm going to want to replace and fix up um, the rope so they go into the top of the pins. They all come up here. They all hook together on this. And obviously I've shown you before in the video the pulley systems that go down and around. So sorry I didn't get a picture of that or a video of that while I was building it, but um, the videos, as I'm sure you can tell from watching them, were very much kind of after the fact thoughts like, oh, someone's going to want to see the progress uh, and I do want to make a video of it. So there's that and uh, I hope that helps you understand how that works. And it's finished. Got all the uh, pins hooked up, all the painting done, the handle in place. I'll show you quickly how the handle works here. We're going to christen it tonight with a game, which is really too soon. I ought to let that paint harden some more first. It's going to end up marking up my balls, but uh, I'll clean them up with some mineral spirits. So the handle here, which I've got just in the up position right now, if you look down at the pins, and we let this down, down come our pins. And uh, when they're knocked over, you'll see, we'll get some footage of us playing later. Oh, and there's Molly walking the runway. Yeah, showing off the latest in the uh, high fashion area for mutt dogs. There's Molly. She's going to check out the pins, I think. Go knock them down, Molly. We can do a demonstration. Go knock them down, and that will scare you when I lift them up. She's going to check out the pins. Up. Oh, she's going to get down in the gutter. Ah, oh, Molly, she's had enough. So, anyway, so the pins would get knocked down. And then you pull the handle. They go up in their tubes, which will stop them from swinging and banging around and then set them back down again. So I'm going to clean up my mess here for a little while. Then I got my dad coming over and uh, we're going to try it out. We'll get some footage. Exciting. All right, here's a pin reset in action. Lovely. Thank you. 